What's up, everybody? Welcome to Thursday evening here in the Pace Studio in Midtown Manhattan. We are really, really lucky and happy to be joined by Lily Hyatt today. Thank you so much for coming and playing for us. Thanks for having me. Um, you have a new record that just came out last week. It's called yep. Trinity Lane. Uh, yep. It's your third album, and we're really excited to hear some songs off of that. Um, so tell me a little bit about the first one you're going to do. Um, the first song I'm going to play is probably the first one I wrote, actually, that made it onto this album. And it's called So Much You Don't Know About Me.
Thank you. Um, that's a really a beautiful song. And Thank you. Uh, one of my favorites from the album, and one that I'm cool. glad you played first because I kind of wanted to ask you about it. Um, yeah. You know, you are a you're known as a very confessional songwriter. You you have yeah. a lot of you you got a lot of details on there about yourself and you know your life love and addiction and death and everything yeah. and that song kind of took me by surprise at the end of the record because it seemed like to me it was saying like at the end of the day you can never really know another person you know the inside of another person the way that you might be you want to yeah uh, and so i was sort of interested in that kind of like dichotomy you know you're someone who shares a lot and you want people to sort of know you and then there's that song and i wonder how that kind of works for you how that balance works for you yeah I mean I think there's I don't know I think I'm a mix of confessional heart on my sleeve but I'm also a pretty guarded person um, so you know it's an interesting way to be and and I think there are is a lot more to most people than meets the eye so yeah just thinking about that sort of thing love and relationships and just the mystery of humans <laughs> yeah is that something that you know when you're when you're writing i mean are you really you know is it important for you for listeners to sort of understand you or is it really more like you're just you know expressing yourself and how it is taken is you know not as much the point um for me i just want to be able to connect with people in whatever way that we can you know so they're i don't know my I'm, a, I guess, the the messenger in a way, but however it wants to be interpreted is 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 a joy for me. So yeah, cool. yeah, nice. it's, it's um, fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so um, you're gonna do a couple more from the record today. Um, let me know about the next one you're gonna do. Um, uh, this song is called Imposter. I wrote it for my dad.
Thank you. Um, that also is a really moving song. And uh, so for the people tuning in who don't know, Lily is the daughter of John Hyatt, the, the great songwriter. And uh, so, you know, it's obviously a very um, touching song and a loving song. And I wonder, you know, as a child growing up in a music family, um, was that something that you were lucky enough to always you know, embrace and you look back fondly, you know, we, you know, not everyone, not everyone does. And I've talked to other people in this very setting who grew up in music families and, you know, they were 16 thinking I will do anything but play music. Yeah. You know, were you ever in that kind of state of mind? No, I think I always knew it was what I wanted to do. It was always a part of who I was and floating around my house and no one pushed me into it or anything, but it was just something I... It's just something in in my soul. Yeah. So, you know. Came naturally. Came pretty naturally. But it took me a long time to play up in front of people. Pretty yeah. shy about that. And is that is that something that, uh, you know, I don't know if your dad ever, you know, he's sort of a, he seems kind of like a quieter guy. I don't know him. but <laughs> He's definitely a private person, you know, but he's got a lot of charisma and, uh, you know, but he does his own thing. Yeah. And uh, I'm yeah. always interested in like, you know, there are a lot of shy people who become amazing performers and how that kind of how that works, you know, like because there are other people who could never get up on stage in front of people and like spill their emotions and play music and other people who are really like reserved and private just have this ability to like get on stage and give it, you know, give it, um, yeah. has, you know, has that always been sort of easy for you? To get on stage? Well, I guess you just give said it, it wasn't. No, but, yeah. but I think it's like, I, you know, I think a lot of quieter, maybe lonely. I'm not by no means quiet, but maybe lonely feeling people crave that connection. You can get that performing and sharing songs with other people. So yeah. I think that's what drives And in terms of like thing. writing those songs, you know, as, as music lovers, we listen to songs and we feel better sometimes worse but we connect emotionally we you know we feel with these songs yeah and as you write them you know does that have the same effect for you can you like really work out anger or whatever emotion you're feeling by writing a song or does it yes. not you know it's really just for the listeners no no it's for it's for me to work through things yeah. so and then hopefully for the listeners, for the listeners too. too but yeah no it's a cathartic type of thing for me yeah. so it's a nice Cool. Yeah, cool. Um, so you guys are going to do one more uh, from Trinity Lane. Um, what one is that going to be? I'm going to play a song called Records. Cool. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
thousand people behind thousand me and they're just audience. in awe like jaws yeah, drops jaws are on the floor they just they don't know what to do um it's true so uh your record is called trinity lane and uh it's your third album it's really really good everyone should go out Thank and you. get it um and you guys are on tour right now i think you're you're obviously on the east coast but you're heading south i think pretty soon yeah we'll be back south in about a week okay i think but we're going all going the way up first. to boston and back Okay, well, you, yeah. everyone can check out the dates on lilyhyatt.com. Come to a show. Come to a show, that's <laughs> right. And see the whole band, you know, playing big and loud and electric. It's a rock record, people should know. Mm-hmm. It's, a real, it's a real rock record. And, uh, and we really thank you for playing, you know, in this acoustic format for us today. It sounds really great Pleasure. to hear the songs in a new way. Um, thank so you. thank you again for uh, for coming by the Pace Studios. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's our we pleasure. Had a blast. And, uh, you know, you guys should come back anytime. Awesome. We will. (laughs) Thanks.